Hello friends, this is Dikki Chadda. Now before I start this video, let me tell you one thing. This video is going to be a pretty long one. So if you don't feel like, watch it when you are at leisure, when you have time and watch the video till the end. It's going to be very interesting. As you know, I'm talking about Rahu and how Rahu can give you Oh, how, how Rao can make you a billionaire and if you really want money listen to this video at leisure there are some points I am giving in the descriptions also understand that point also now let us start in this video I am going to talk about from Aries to Pisces you all have to open your horoscope and check from your Lagana, again I am repeating, only from the Lagana position of Rahu. First of all, see Rahu is a planet which can give you a lot of money, but it based only on Lagana. So we have to look at the placement of Rahu from the Lagana, not from the moon. First condition. Number two, just the presence of Rahu in your birth chart does not guarantee money or good result. You may get power, you may get billions of rupees that you deserve during the Rahu Mahatasha. Understand this also. Provided that Rahu is placed at the, at the placement given by me, which I am going to talk further. Many people get afraid, feared during the Rahu Mahadasha. But there are also some people who have become billionaire in the period or Mahadasha of Rahu. Why? Now I am trying to provide you with a gen with very general consideration for money and benefit that you will uh, derive from Rahu Mahadasha. Now following is the table or explanation of placement of Rahu that can give you money, fame, business, happiness and all that you desire for. But once again, open up your chart and see what is your Lagna. If your Lagna happens to be Aries, I'm repeating, if your Lagna is Aries, that means in your, uh, in your horoscope, it is number one written in the first house. Then Rahu is very beneficial if it is placed in the sign of Gemini or Virgo or Capricorn and Aquarius. But there is a condition. There is a condition that if it is placed in Gemini and Virgo, which means it is placed in the third and the sixth house, Mercury should be in a very good position. Either it is exalted or it is into a friendly house or it is in a Trikon or maybe in the Kendra. If your Rahu is placed in Capricorn or Aquarius, then Saturn has to be exalted. That means Saturn has to be in the sign of Libra. Then this yoga, I'm talking about being a billionaire, will work for you. Next is Taurus. So you open up your chart and you look into your chart and you find that your Lagna is Taurus. And if Rahu is placed in the sign of cancer with moon exalted or it is the full moon that means moon is opposite to sun in your birth chart if rahu is placed in libra then venus should be in a good position benefic position if rahu is in the sign of pisces <clears throat> jupiter should be in a benefic position. 
if Rahu is placed in your uh, in the sign of Aquarius, best if Saturn is into the exaltation place. So Taurus, after Taurus, next is Gemini. For Gemini, if your Rahu, Lagna is Gemini, if your Rahu is placed in the sign of Leo with Sun exalted, which means it is in the sign of Aries, or Rahu is placed in Scorpio and Mars is exalted, that means it is in Capricorn. If Rahu is placed in Pisces, these are all or conditions. Huh? Jupiter is in a benefic position. If Rahu is placed in Aries and Mars is again exalted in the sign of Capricorn, then you will see that yes, Rahu can give you enormous wealth. Next is Cancer. For Cancer, Cancer Lagna, if Rahu is, if you find your Rahu in the sign of Virgo and Mercury is well placed, benefit position. If Rahu is placed in Sagittarius and Jupiter is in a good position. If Rahu is placed in Aries and Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. Or if Rahu is placed in the sign of Taurus and Venus is in a benefit position that can make you a billionaire or a lot of wealth. Next is Leo. For Leo, if Rahu is placed in the sign of Libra, Tula, Venus in a benefit position, if it is in the sign of Capricorn and Saturn is in Libra exaltation, if it is in the sign of Taurus, Venus in a benefit position, if Rahu is in Gemini, Mercury in a benefit position, that can make you a millionaire. Next is Virgo. For Virgo, if Rahu from your Lagna is placed in the sign of Scorpio and Mars exalted or in Aquarius, Saturn exalted in the sign of Libra. If Mars is placed in Gemini and Mercury in a benefit position or Mars is placed, sorry, if uh, Rahu is placed in the sign of Cancer and Moon, either, either it is exalted in the sign of Taurus or it is a full moon situation. That means uh, just bank, to, bank opposite to uh, Sun is the position of Moon, which makes it a full moon. Next sign is Libra. For Libra, Lagna. If Rahu is placed in Sagittarius and Jupiter is in a very good position, benefit position. If it is placed in Pisces and Jupiter is in a good position. If it is placed in Cancer and Moon is either full or it is exalted. Or Rahu is placed in Leo and Sun is exalted in the sign of Aries. Now coming to Scorpio. For Scorpio, Lagna. If Rahu is placed in the sign of Capricorn and Saturn is into exaltation, then this position is fulfilled. For Scorpio, if it is placed in Aries, Mars exalted in the sign of Capricorn. If it is placed in Leo, Sun exalted in Aries. Or if it is placed in Virgo and Mercury is a benefic planet or a benefic position. For Sagittarius, <clears throat> Rahu, if it is placed in the sign of Aquarius and Saturn in exaltation in the sign of Libra. Or if it is placed in Taurus and Venus is a benefic planet, benefic position. Or if it is in Virgo and Mercury is in a good position. 
or if it is in the sign of Libra and Venus is into a good position. Next sign is Capricorn. Now for Capricorn, if Rahu is placed in the sign of Pisces and Jupiter is in the benefic position or it is placed in Gemini and Mercury is in a benefic position <clears throat> or it is placed in the sign of Scorpio and Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn or Rahu is placed in the sign of Libra and Venus is in a good position, benefic position. Next is Aquarius. For Aquarius, if your Rahu is placed in the sign of Cancer and Moon is either exalted in the sign of Taurus or it is a full moon, which means bank opposite to Sun, then this condition is fulfilled. Or if for Aquarius, if it is placed in the sign of Sagittarius and Jupiter is in the benefic position or your Rahu is placed in either Aries or it is in Scorpio. Both are ruled by Mars and if Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn, the condition is fulfilled. Next is <clears throat> Pisces. For Pisces, if your Rahu is placed in the sign of Taurus, and Venus is in a benefic position or if it is placed in Leo and Sun is exalted in the sign of Aries or if Rahu is placed in Sagittarius and Jupiter is in a benefic position or if it is placed in the sign of Capricorn and Saturn is exalted in the sign of Libra. Now this is where if this condition is fulfilled then Rahu is going to give you enormous wealth during its Mahadasha. Now, there are some other conditions also that I would wish to. That's why I told you this is going to be a pretty long video. The condition number one, the result can be best realized both if both your Lagna and your moon sign belongs to one planet. For example, if your Lagna, Lagna belongs to the sign of Jupiter and even your moon sign also belongs to sign of Jupiter. So Lagna and moon, if both are having a common planet, then this condition, this condition is fulfilled. At least one among the two, which means either Lagna Lord or Moon Sign Lord should be in a good condition. Third condition is the Lord of the house where Rahu is sitting, the dispositor must be in a good condition in the chart. That's what I explained to you in the chart. So if it, if, if it is in Virgo, the dispositor is who, who? Mercury. Mercury should be in a good place. So if it is sitting in a sign and the sign Lord is in a good position, the condition is fulfilled. Also, understand Rahu, if it is in the Nakshetra, its own Nakshetra, like Ardra, Swati or Satabisha. It will not give you a good result. This is another condition. Rahu will do the best possible if it is aspected or it is conjuncted by a Raj Yoga Karka or a natural benefic planet, Shubhgraha. Rahu, if it is associated with a malefic planet like Saturn, it will not be able to deliver you good result. But if it is aspected by a planet like Jupiter or Venus, then the negative effect will come down. You cannot expect very good results 
from Rahu Mahadasha. If in your family, in your immediate family, if there is another person, one more person also is running a Rahu Mahadasha parallelly, then Rahu may trouble you. When Rahu is in the sign of Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo and Capricorn, no negative effect of Rahu Madasha can be witnessed. Even if Rahu is placed in a Dustana house like 6th house, 8th house or 12th house, it will still give you good result. This is what I wanted to explain to you. These are the condition. And if it was very difficult for you, I'm putting it all the all these notes. I'm trying to put it in the description for you to read it or copy it down and keep it for yourself. Fine. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like this video, I have put a lot of efforts in it. Give it a like, click on the notification bell icon as well and subscribe to my channel. Wish you all the best.